So in the part two, what we want to do is, well, if you remember correctly, then go to replicate storage, go open up Kamehameha, click on animate. Now, now here's the thing. We also want to add some damage, like make it damage some people. Now, here's how we're going to do it. Well, I, I think we can still do it. So, here. So, let's choose the end ball. So, uh, at end ball dot touch connect function hit. No pun intended, I know that's a character, but uh, the next thing we want to do is char. Look at char. Just hit dot parent, and we're gonna do humanoid equals char. Find first child humanoid, and then if humanoid, then yeah. And this is a really basic check um, if it has been touched by a human or some character. So, the next thing we want to do is, well, we also want to add some damage, so let's go humanoid. I'm pretty sure it's this take damage. And then you choose the number in between these brackets. So let's see, Kamehameha is a really powerful energy or energy attack. So let's make it do like maybe 56, no actually 67, 60, let's make it do 67 damage. That's almost half of a, actually that's too powerful. Well, it's supposed to be powerful, but for testing purposes, we'll make it low. So 30. Now, we're done. now we have just done that. Now the next thing we want to do is, well, we also want to make this uh, stop when it gets when it touches something when it touches a humanoid. So maybe this is optional if you want to do it, but you can make it stop. So right here or here, let's just copy it to play into here. Now here's an interesting thing. There's a pause. Now let's add a pause in all these right here. Now it pauses the tween. And then, the next thing we want to do is, well, we're also going to add local is hit. And I'm also aware that there's also another problem at the line. Hmm, it's still hard to choose. Let's try the line. Let's do the line this time, okay? The line, it makes sense to choose the line. So, um, yeah, so is hit is equal to false, or, yeah, is hit. Now we're also going to check if is hit equal to false, then do this. So this is only going to attack one person at a time, and it's, yeah, that's all it's going to do. So is hit is equal to true. Now... Right here, we're also going to make an also. In the last video, I was going to say a fade effect. I was going to add, a, add in a fade effect, but then I realized, well, I can't do that. It's quite hard to, so. It's going to be a little long, but yeah, we're going to add a fade effect. So at the top of this, at the below is hit, we're also going to make a function, and let's call it local fade. We're going to call it, uh, it's going to be a function, and we're also, it's going to be, well, we're going to make it extremely flexible. So, at function, in brackets, we're going to also make it, like, choose the model. So, oops, so, um, yeah, we're going to make it go, uh, wait, whoops, sorry. 
underscore I V N oh, whoops has what sorry in pairs uh script dot pair dot part now the parts right here is this model that's filled with all the stuff right here all the uh, extra stuff right here now we're also gonna add this do this so uh, we're also gonna make it get descendants And yeah, then wait, no, sorry, 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 um, I'm rushing here because I didn't mean to make these mistakes, sorry guys. So, uh, so B is, B, let's also check if B dot class name is equal to what's What's it right here? What's the class name of these parts right here? It's a part. Now, if there's actually some meshes in your in your in your Kamehameha, you might also have to add a few more stuff. If B dot class name class name is equal to part or mesh part, then yes, I'm aware of the union but or the, uh, the union parts but I don't think anybody's gonna use them but if someone is just tell me in the comment and I will uh, sorry, sorry. If someone's gonna be using a union part which I doubt anybody would use it in this model but you might have to add the uh, another or another or to this if statement for now we're just gonna go if b dot class name equals to part or b dot class name but then we're also going to do one more thing. We're also going to uh, create a tween. So B. So let's do this again. Uh, right here, we're going to add another. We're going to add a T and another info. Tween information. And this is going to be the fade version. Info and let's see how long will it take to fade. Probably let's take make it uh, one minute. I'm going to yeah. So and yeah, that's that's I think that's good. That's good. And one more thing, we're just going to also make one more properties. We're going to make the fading. Fade, prop, prop, transparency equals to one. And then the last thing we're going to do is well, let's make the tween. Let's go. The tween fade going to equal to uh, V wait no 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 tween service full on create and let's choose the in instance and in this instance no pun intended it's gonna be V which is the value for this right here and then tween info well it's gonna be T info fade And fade properties. Oh, let's add, make this a little bit. Uh, let's choose. Uh, quad. Slow down. Nope. Let's make it. Uh, uh, let's choose. Uh, Um, I think this is fine. Quad. So, and the tween fade will make it, uh, 
play. Between fade plays. Now the next thing we're gonna do in here is that over here when we paused all this we're going to also get the uh, this function and it's, we're gonna put in the model. Yeah. Oh yeah I forgot to make it flexible. So and then model right here Just probably going to replace the script dot parent dot parts and then model get the sentence. It's really not that necessary to make it flexible, but we I just want to make it flexible so you can reuse this fade function for other purposes. But yeah, so it's going to be script dot parent dot parts and then. also going to add at the end if it didn't hit anything or any humanoid then if is hit is still equal to false well we also what's the time length for these guys wait 1. 1. 1.1.3 that's the time oh and by the way just so you know the 1.3 comes from this T info right here, the screen information. So wait one point, and then yeah, is it is equal to false? And we're also going to turn off is hit. We're going to make it equals to true. So the touched function or the damage function doesn't apply anymore. And then the next thing we're going to do is fade. Now this works, and for the fire, we're going to uh, add one more thing. So right here, it's going to choose to destroy this thing. So three plus two. So one point three plus one is equal to two point three, and that's the wait time, and it will destroy the model. Now let's check this thing and see if it can work. Oh, it, oh, it. Okay, so, and one more thing to add before we make a mistake, and it's probably to add a object value. Right, see right here, object value. Now I'll call it, uh, no, or like immune to. So basically what we need this object value is to tell right here to tell this to tell this code not to damage this specific layer. So if okay so script dot oh wait sorry sorry if char is equal to script pen dot immune to dot value then wait not equals to and then we'll we'll do this and then end so I forgot to add this and then the one more thing we have to do is that right here, model model dot we'll go back to the fire and add one more code and click dot immune to dot value to equal to tool dot parent and that's it. Oh wait, sorry. One more thing. Cha. And then that's it. Now we can test the game. This character should look familiar. Huh, I wonder who's this. He looks awfully familiar. Anyway, uh let's 
Test this game one more time. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, let me just do one more thing. I was also testing something. Okay, so, uh, let's play this game again, and now uh, let's see if we can figure out the problem and see if, if this will work. So, I'm gonna be attacking myself. Oh, see, it works. So I have no problem, I have no idea what's wrong with the dummies, but... You use a real uh, player model. Your code, everything works really well. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And sorry for me not figuring out the problem, but yeah, that's it. So uh, see you later, guys. Peace.